Close to 60 years have passed since news broke that Studebaker would cease auto production here in South Bend. The 60th anniversary will actually be Saturday, December 9th. Mark Peterson has been tracking the impact of this anniversary and he's live in the studio with more. Mark? The Studebaker founded about 13 years before the founding of the city of South Bend itself. The company did business here for 111 years, started as a blacksmith shop, became the world's largest producer of buggies and wagons, then of course uh, moved on to making automobiles. Now, December 9th, 1963 marked the beginning of the end. That is the day that news of a planned plant closing broke. Well, for Studebaker, and we should really look at it, back in 1950, Studebaker was producing almost half a million cars and trucks annually. They employed 24,000 people in South Bend. Fast forward to 1963, employment is down to about 7,000. Uh, Studebaker had not made a profit uh, for many years. In fact, from 1953 to 1963, they turned a profit just once, and that was in 1959. So, you know, the handwriting was on the wall, but still Studebaker had come back so many times previously that there was no reason to believe they wouldn't be able to do it again. And we'll have special reports of the anniversary of the closing and they're coming up on uh, Thursday and Friday. Take note, Studi Nation. All right. Mark Peterson here in the studio with us tonight. Mark, looking forward to it. More